Hello designers, this is Dr. Shante Bishop, CEO of Design Her Label, where I help diverse women entrepreneurs find the courage, clarity, confidence, and conviction to pursue their passion and turn your creative genius into a bankable branding strategy. Welcome to this week's blog, and we're going to be talking about a little tough love today that it is time to break away. One of the things that I am troubled by with new entrepreneurs is their tendency to stay in their comfort zone. And I want to tell you, you will never, ever grow in your comfort zone. One of the reasons why people tend to self-sabotage is because when you reach a certain level of comfortability, when you reach a certain level of success, or you just reach a certain level in your life, you become whether you like it or not, you become familiar with it. It's what you know. And so it's be because it's what you know, that's where you tend to stay. There's a saying, you know, it's better to be with the devil you know than the devil that you don't. Meaning that even if the situation is not ideal, people will stay in that situation because the fear of the unknown is overwhelming. And so they would rather stay in mediocrity or unhealthy relationships or a stagnant job just because it's familiar and comfortable rather than taking a risk and going outside of that comfort zone. And so growth can't happen like that. It is time to break away from that mentality and really start to ask yourself, what is it that I am afraid to do? Another issue is your network, the type of people that you surround yourself with. When people do surveys, I've done these surveys and I've asked, what is the number one hindrance? What's the number one obstacle that keeps you from being successful in your business that keeps you from growing your brand or moving to your next goal? Some people say it's time. Some people say it's money. But the overwhelming answer is people. Either the people in your life are keeping you from moving forward, or you don't have any people in your network to support you in your endeavor that are really going to sharpen you, you know, and teach you things and help you move forward. The thing is, is that being an entrepreneur can be a very lonely road because most people in your family or most people in your circle, they tend to have, you know, a stationary job. They have a nine to five, a steady paycheck. And so entrepreneurial pursuits are not necessarily anything that they want to pursue or anything that, you know, is on their radar. And so when you are struggling with how to get your website up and running, how to do your branding strategies, how to, you know, make shifts, you know, and have a good sales funnel so that, you know, money is coming in and how to engage your social network. They don't have to think about any of that because their job is already preset and they just go in, do their job, go home and they get paid every two weeks or every month or on a regular and consistent basis. And so sometimes being an entrepreneur can be a very lonely road. And if you want to grow, you are going to have to surround yourself with people that are going to push you forward. So your network will, will determine your growth rate. So in other words, how soon do you want to be at your destination? How much are you willing to sacrifice in order to accelerate your progress? Because there's a principle. Um, if you haven't read it, I strongly encourage you to read um, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, where he introduces this mastermind principle. And the mastermind principle is that you will leverage the resources, uh, intellect, knowledge, um, ideas of another person in order to accomplish more in one year than you could in a whole lifetime if you had done this by yourself. So your growth rate, acceleration, if that's important to you, then your network is going to determine that. Your network also determines things like your profit margin, how much you're going to make. Because the thing is, if you're making a little bit of money with your business, you might say, well, you know, it's making some money, you know, and, and, and $10 is better than no dollars. Or, you know, $30 is better than nothing. You know, when what you really want is six figure growth, then you need to put yourself inside of a network that's going to really help you to do that. And it will also determine your brand reach. In other words, how many people are going to see your brand? How are you going to become visible to your target audience on a grander scale rather than just, you know, in a local market or a regional market? So here are some questions you need to ask yourself. One, who is holding you accountable? Who's holding me accountable? When I say that I want to have my book written in 12 months, who's holding you accountable to that? Who's saying, well, how many chapters have you written? What is the schedule going to be? Um, 
What time off of work, you know, have you taken to get that done? What other things have you taken off your plate in order for you to have a writing schedule? Who's holding you accountable for the goals that you set for yourself? Who's giving you constructive feedback? Is there anybody that's in your circle that is being constructive, you know, not necessarily critical in a negative way, but just saying, here's some things you might want to think about, or here's some blind spots that you may not have seen. Here are some points that you might want to consider. Who's helping you develop better solutions? And when I say better solutions, I'm not necessarily talking about the person who says, well, see, you know what you ought to do especially if they don't have a business themselves or, you know, if they're just being um, cynical or jaded or not really being um, invested in the goal that you're trying to accomplish. When I'm talking about having someone help you develop better solutions, this is someone who cares about your audience. This is someone who cares about your vision and someone who cares about your brand. And so they are giving you solutions from that investment standpoint from someone who really wants to see a positive and productive end. Um, You need to be asking yourself who was on your level or above. As I said, you know, being an entrepreneur can be a very lonely road. And so when I say who was on your level, I don't mean, oh, I'm better than someone, you know, you're not on my level. What I'm saying is someone that is committed to the same pursuits that you're committed to, someone who is trying to build themselves and surround themselves in positivity, someone who has something to bring to the table. Because that's another issue is that sometimes you find yourself in a network and you're the only person bringing something to the table and everyone is just draining from you and you're not getting anything back in return. So when you have someone on your level, those relationships need to be reciprocal. And you need to ask yourself, who was pushing you to take bold action? You know, when you think it's scary and you don't want to, you know, jump off that bridge or that cliff or whatever it may be, who is encouraging you to do that? That is the person that those are the types of people that you need to surround yourself with and have in your network. And so if you don't have these things, it's time to really break away from your comfort zone. It's time to break away from environments that are not going to serve your purposes. Because as I often say, you have invested so much time, so much money, so much energy, so much of yourself into trying to make this work that at this point, you need to be thinking about what measures am I willing to take in order to really push through and make this happen? Because the longer that it takes to make it happen, the more likely you are to quit and to give up. So in a nutshell, think about your current alliances. Think about your current networks. How far will your current alliances take you? Where are the gaps? And when you find the gaps, those are the people that you pursue. Those are the people that you seek out, whether these are mentors, whether these are coaches, whether these are, you know, fellow entrepreneurs and you guys are kind of in the trenches together. But think about how far will your current alliances take you? How far will your network as it stands right now going to take you? Who do you have access to and who do they have access to? What are they willing to do on your behalf? What are you willing to do on their behalf? So think about your current alliances and really take an assessment of how far are they going to take you? And as I said, ask yourself, what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get what you want? And what I'm pushing you to sacrifice is your comfort zone. What's interesting is that when I started my YouTube channel, Design Her TV, I was a complete train wreck. I was so nervous. And you would think that someone who teaches for a living, a college professor who has hundreds of students every semester, I do public speaking for a living. But there was something about that camera that just petrified me. I felt judged and I was like, I can't do this. But and and the the irony is, is that the very first video is about overcoming fear. And so I was like, Shanta, you're being such a hypocrite. You know, you're sitting up here talking about overcoming fear and you can't do it yourself. And so, you know, that was something that I was afraid to do, something I was scared to death to do. But I did it. And in doing so, I cannot tell you the positive, overwhelming feedback that I have gotten because I put myself out there. So the thing is, if you're trying to make big momentous shifts in your business, Whatever you're biting your fingernails about, about, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. That's exactly what you need to be doing. You need to be willing to sacrifice your level of comfort in order to push your brand and your business forward, because chances are your brand and your business is not about you. Somebody is waiting for you to show up. So what sacrifices are you willing to make so that you can show up for the people that need your product, your service, or just you, period? 
success is paid for on the front end. You know, when you look at Facebook, you know, which is always an edited narrative, you know, that is an edited narration of what people want you to see. What they don't see is, you know, the negative bank balance. They don't see, you know, you sleeping on an air mattress. They don't see, you know, um, the eviction notice on the door. They don't see any of that. All they see are the successes because, you know, that's what we tend to show. But the fact of the matter is, is that every success that you've ever had, it was paid for in advance. You, every entrepreneur has to pay their dues. I don't care what your industry is. Everybody has to pay their dues. Everybody has to start somewhere. So success is paid for on the front end. And while you're trying to build that success, yes, you're going to have to make some strategic alliances and build some networks. And you're going to have to give to other people um, so that they can give back to you and have a reciprocal relationship so that you can ultimately reach your destination. And so those are the types of sacrifices that, you know, start thinking about what is it that I'm willing to, you know, break away from in order to be successful so that I can pay this up in advance and I can really live the dream that started me on this path in the first place. So here's some action steps that I want you guys to take away from this podcast. Sorry, from this brand cast. Um, Number one, set a stretch goal. You know, what are you willing to stretch yourself to do, stretch yourself to accomplish? This might be a stretch financially. It might be a stretch in terms of your um, circle of, of influence. And so sometimes if you are not the type of person that will pick up the phone and just call a random stranger, um, you might have to do that. You might have to stretch yourself beyond your comfort zone and say, Hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. I would love to set something up with you. Um, I'm going to encourage you to find three or four people to mastermind with. So this is what I talked about making an alliance with people that you guys have a vested interest in seeing one another succeed and are going to hold people accountable. Now, some of the issues that people tend to tell me with mastermind groups is, you know, you can't trust people, you know, they're going to, you know, steal all of your ideas and, and, you know, they're just going to take, 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 take and not give, 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 give. So make sure that you do your due diligence, make sure that everybody has a a shared understanding. And if you have to, you know, get some things set up and put in writing, you know, non-disclosure agreements and things like that to protect your intellectual property. But Find people that are going to move you and push you to the next level and be willing to do the same thing for them. Set regular meetings and make sure that you stick to it. Because trust me, I get it. Life happens. People have kids. People have jobs. People have obligations. People promise to bake 25 cupcakes, you know, for somebody's field trip. I get it. Life happens. But at the end of the day, anything that you're going to be committed to, you have to stick to it. You have to be disciplined. You have to give up what you want right now so that you can get what you want in the long run. And so these action steps are not going to benefit you if you're not committed throughout the process. Because at the end of the day, excuses don't pay bills. Neither do Instagram followers, neither do likes on Facebook. I mean, because my goodness, if we got paid by the Facebook like, we all would be rolling in dough. But the fact of the matter is, is that we don't. Excuses don't pay bills. And so the fact that, you know, well, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I ran out of time, um, you know, the baby needs a new pair of shoes, whatever the case may be, excuses don't pay bills. They don't move your brand forward. They don't move your business forward. And so it's time to break away from those things that are setting you back those things that are holding you back so that you can stretch yourself, break away from your comfort zone, break away from networks that don't serve you, break away from alliances that you know that are keeping you where you are and push forward so that you can have the dream, the life, serve the people that you want to serve. And as always, if you enjoyed this post, please do encourage your people to subscribe to designherlabel.com. I would love to connect with you on Facebook and social media. I just want to give a quick shout out. April 22nd, mark your calendars. Design Her TV is going to be coming back. I'm excited about the second season. It's going to be on YouTube. I can't wait to see you. Thank you for listening to this broadcast. I'll see you next time.